Introduction to JavaScript. Welcome back. You got JS Fiddle working, so now you're going to learn how to draw any type of circle that you want. In our program, we have a function called main. In module two, I'll explain to you exactly what a function is and how they work. But for now, what you need to know is that when you start the program, the computer will try to execute anything between this curly brace and this curly brace. One thing we can tell the computer to do is to draw a circle. Here, we're telling the computer to draw a circle that happens to be exactly like the one we created last time. Here, we see a bigger variety of the types of circles we can draw. But how do we tell the computer to draw different types of circles? We do it by giving the draw circle three numbers and one word. The first number is the x value, which tells the computer how far to the right the center of the circle should be. The second number is the y value, which tells the computer how far down from the top the center of the circle should be. The third number is the radius, which tells the computer how big the circle should be. And then the word is the color, which tells the computer what color the circle should be. It's important that you include all four, and also that you put commas in between each one. If you don't, then the computer might not recognize what you're saying, and therefore not draw the circle correctly. What I want you to do now is to create a fourth circle that is green, has a radius of 10 pixels, and is farther to the right than any of the other circles so far. When you think you have it, go ahead and press the Run button to see your changes. If for some reason all the circles stop, stop showing up, go ahead and reload the page and try again. Remember, in programming, all failure is temporary.